friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, we are going to be going over everything I spent in the first week of May. It was a really great week in terms of the budget. I made a really conscious effort this week to not overspend. I have found in previous months that the first and second weeks of the month always seem like sort of a free-for-all. I spend the most during those two weeks. Those two weeks are when the majority of our bills come out for the month and it seems like that's when I do the most spending. And then the subsequent weeks I have to cut way back in order to come in under budget for the month. So. This first week of the month, I tried really hard to just spend what I needed to spend, not overdo it, not go crazy, and I think I succeeded. Now, that being said, there's still a lot of transactions to go over. Like I said, the first week of the month is when the majority of our bills come out, so we got a lot of bills to write down. There was still some spending in our various categories, or our variable categories, rather. So, I've got my planner here flipped to a fresh expense tracker. This is the design for May. If you missed it, um, I have a whole video showcasing my May budget worksheets in depth and telling you guys how you can get them. So I will link that video down below if you're interested in seeing uh, what all the worksheets look like, how you can get your hands on them. Um, I'm not going to go into that today. Instead, I'm just going to get started. So I've got all of my pens and highlighters here. This is my collection of mild liners, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that these aren't all of them. I have some at my office as well. Um, these aren't just mild liners, but mostly I do also have some Erin Condren highlighters and some erasable highlighters. And actually, I think I'm going to use the erasable highlighters today because I feel like the super pastel colors of these is going to match my May design really well. So I'm going to zoom in. We are going to start talking about everything I spent during this first week of May. Now, my first week of May actually includes the last day of April as well, just with the way the dates worked out. Um, the last day of April was a Tuesday. We get paid on Tuesday, so I decided to make April 30th the first day of my May budget. I don't I don't know if that's how everybody does it, but I like to look at my budget at an overall like month, but I really track things kind of week to week and my weeks always start on Tuesday. So this week, April 30th through May 6th, and we're just going to get started with the tracking, starting with um, the 30th. So on the 30th, I did my grocery shopping for the week. I try to stick to Tuesdays for my grocery shopping day. Um, and like I said, this week I tried really hard to just buy what I needed, not go crazy just because it was a new month and the budget kind of reset. So I really looked through our pantry and our fridge and our freezer and did my meal plan based on what we already had and bought really just the bare minimum. I went to Walmart and I spent $113.50. And of course I'd categorize that as groceries. If you're not familiar with the way that I budget, um, I categorize all my variable spending to keep track of where the money's going and to keep myself in check. Um, my categories are grocery, eating out, spending, and auto pay. Auto pay is a bunch of little subscriptions and memberships and things uh, that I lump all into one line item in my budget. They are things that come out of my account automatically, so I categorize that as auto pay. So that was our groceries for the week, and then that was pretty much everything I spent on the 30th. So moving on to May 1st. I had a Patreon membership come out. That is one of those auto pay items that I talked about. So we categorize that as auto pay. 
and the amount was $1.50. Also on the first, I paid my storage unit. And that I categorize as a bill because this is something um, that I go in. It isn't necessarily one of these smaller auto pay things. Technically, my storage unit is paid automatically, but I consider it a bill. That's probably confusing. Um, I just, it, it's larger. The auto pay bills are all things that are like $50 or less and that's why I lump them all together just so I don't have like 15 little tiny transactions taking up my full budget. Um, storage, I categorize it as a bill. And it was $92.70. Alright, on the second, moving on, we had Oh, nope, I skipped one. This is why it's important for me to use erasable pens because I'm all over the place and I make a lot of mistakes. These are the erasable pens from Parku, by the way. Um, on the first, I also had another auto pay thing come out and it is my BarkBox subscription. I think I only have one or two more months of this subscription. I signed up for a year when we first got our puppy Maple and I'm not gonna be continuing with it. Um, not because we don't love the bark box, we do, but just because we are inundated with lots of toys and treats and we just um, are taking a little bit of a break from it. When we do uh, decide that she needs more treats or toys, we'll just go ahead and buy them. We do love the bark box um, toys though, the quality of them is really, really good. Anyways, this is one of those auto pay items. And it was. 2831. Now moving on to the second, we had Hulu, which is also auto pay. And the amount for Hulu is $17.99. We are subscribed to the Hulu No Ads. Hulu is my favorite of the streaming services. What's your favorite? On the second, my husband went to PetSmart. We needed to buy a tie out, one of those ones that goes into the ground for our puppy to take to our camper. Um, that came out of our spending category. And the amount that was spent was $29.13. So on the second, we paid our lot rent, which is considered a bill. And the amount that we spent there was $712.57. And then we had a couple of no spend days in a row where we didn't spend anything out of our monthly budget, which is fantastic. We were still taking money out for things from our sinking funds but nothing that needs to be tracked here that all of my sinking fund money is tracked on a separate tracker. Um, and so we didn't have another transaction from our monthly budget here until the fifth, which I think is great. Like I said, I tried really hard to spend as little as possible this week. Um, on the fifth, we had my New York Times subscription come out, which I have canceled now. Um, it was just like the games subscription. I don't need that. Even though it's only $1.50, I could spend that $1.50 elsewhere. So I have canceled that, but I did go ahead and have that come out um, the start of May. I just went and canceled it today. I'm filming this on the 8th. So that's done. You won't see this in my budget anymore, which I'm happy about. Um, so also on the 5th, my son had a couple of soccer games and there was a little bit of a delay in between them. One of them was at like 2 p.m. He played that game and then he didn't have to play again until 6. So we had some time in between games. So we went and got some dinner at Jimmy John's. The category there is eating out. And this was actually just my husband and I ate at Jimmy John's. Um, he did not want to fill up his belly before he played in that second game. 
So this was just Eric and I. We paid $24.15 for each of us, or for both of us rather, to have dinner. Then we went to the gas station and grabbed drinks. That was one thing Austin did want was a nice big um, Gatorade to rehydrate and give him some electrolytes. We went to the Murphy station, grabbed him a Gatorade and a great big bottle of water. And then my husband and I also got drinks. So we took this out of our grocery budget could have come out of eating out, could have come out of spending. It was just like a toss up. It doesn't really matter. We just needed to categorize it as something. So we categorized it as grocery and it was $11.77. And then after the game, after that second game, oh, that's not the sixth, that's the fifth. And then after that second game, my husband went to a frozen custard place and got he and he met his dad up there, bought him um, some frozen custard cones. So that's coming out of our eating out budget. And the amount that was spent there is nine dollars and eleven cents. All right. So that was it for the Fifth. I don't know why I wrote the sixth here. It was the fifth as well. On the sixth, we had our golf cart payment. And that is categorized as bills. The amount that we paid was $150. For that. Um, also on the 6th, I had a YouTube membership charge. I have a couple of different content creators that I subscribe to their channel membership because I really love their content. Um, this is one of those auto pay items. And it was $4.99. On the 6th, my son had soccer practice, and then we went straight from his soccer practice to his girlfriend's soccer game. She's a soccer player as well. We really wanted to support her, but we needed to have dinner. So after practice, before the game, we went to Chipotle, which is one of my favorite places to eat on my weight loss journey because it's low in calories. It's really filling. I like to get a burrito bowl and add a ton of extra like fajita vegetables and beans and that sort of thing. That came out of eating out and our two bowls came out to $30 exactly, which is pricey, but for the amount of food that we get, I feel like it's worth it. It's something he and I both like and it's not something that Eric or Robbie enjoy so whenever we have to go out just us we almost always go to Chipotle or Chick-fil-A because Robbie and Eric aren't big fans of Chick-fil-A either but we love it. All right and then he also wanted a smoothie so he went to Tim Hortons. Austin was doing the driving. He's currently getting his driving hours to get his license this summer so we took that out of eating out as well. And that was $4.72. And then, like I said, we were going to his girlfriend's soccer game. He, as a student, gets in free. I do not, so I had to pay admission for the soccer game. We took this out of our spending budget. And it was $5. Well worth it to support Kenzie. All right, so I think that is everything. Let me look over my rough draft to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I did miss something. It seems like I always manage to miss something. This was on the 5th. I'm actually gonna date it the 6th, just so it doesn't drive me crazy that it's out of order. Um, in between those soccer games I told you about, we went into Dunham's. My son needed some athletic tape. We took this out of spending 
and it was $12.24. Okay, now that's really it. Let's go ahead and start highlighting. I like to use a different color for each category and we'll add things up as we go on my trusty calculator here. So we'll go ahead and start out with grocery. And for grocery, I think we're gonna do pink, cause why not? So we had 113.50. I forgot that these highlighters are like super light. Hopefully you can see them. They're really um, easily visible in person, but on camera, sometimes they have a hard time showing up. So hopefully they're okay. And then we had Murphy for eleven seventy seven, and that was it. So we spent one hundred and twenty five twenty seven in grocery, which for us it's like a miracle that we spent such a small amount. Um, we usually spend closer to like three hundred dollars this grocery line item includes all of our groceries as well as household items and pet items so that's really really good for us all right so that was it for grocery next we will do auto pay i'll use this sort of minty green color these are friction highlighters by the way by pilot um and they're really nice because they just like the pens are erasable so if and when I inevitably make a mistake, I can just erase it, try again. All right, auto pay. We had $1.50 for Patreon. $28.31 for BarkBox. $17.50. York Times for a dollar fifty. YouTube channel membership for four ninety nine. I think that was everything for auto pay. So fifty four twenty nine for auto pay. Okie dokie. Next up, we will do bills. For bills, I'll use blue. So we had storage for $92.70 plus lot rent for $712.57. Plus the golf cart at 150 for a total of 955.27. Okay. Next we'll do spending and for that I'll use purple. Purple is my favorite color by the way. What is your favorite color? Leave it in the comment section down below. At PetSmart, we spent $29.13. At the soccer game, we spent five. And at Dunham's, we spent $12.24. And was that really it for our spending? That is not too shabby at all. $46.37. Really surprised myself with how little we spent this month or this week in comparison to what we usually do in the first week of the month. So I'm really giving myself and my family a pat on the back because I tried and succeeded to actually limit myself for a change. Uh, 24, 15, we're doing eating out now and I'm gonna use yellow, I guess. That's the last color, so. 24.15. Interestingly enough, I think the yellow is the color that shows up the most on camera, which is definitely not usually the case. 
um, plus nine dollars and eleven cents, plus thirty dollars. Plus four seventy two for a grand total of sixty seven ninety eight. So, all in all, not a bad week, and I just realized that I did not have this in frame, and you guys did not see any of this. That's okay. I'm sure you figured out what I was doing down here off camera. I really need to get better about remembering to look up at my camera and see what is in the frame. So sorry about that. I think a lot of you um, put my videos like this on and just listen while you're doing other things. So hopefully it wasn't too big of an inconvenience for anyone. I'm going to get a total really quick. But I'm actually going to just get the total for my variable categories, grocery, auto pay, spending, and eating out. How much we spent in bills matters as well, but I don't need that total for when I fill in my hybrid budget. So variable spending, I'm just going to put a note, variable was 293.81 and how much we spent total was 1249.18 so now i have all of the information that i need to fill in my hybrid budget worksheet and update my budget for the month that will be a separate video, which you will be able to see tomorrow. If you are watching the day that this is posted, I will have this up for you guys tomorrow where I take all of this information and plug it into my monthly budget. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you can hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. You might find that helpful. Also, if you're interested in joining my channel membership, I have the video explaining what all the perks are and how you can join linked down below as well as a direct join link. So check the description box for all the links. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!